Hello guys, uh, today we are going to connect our application to Google Analytics to track uh, how many people are actually staying in our website. In here, I didn't connect our application to Google Analytics yet, so that's why they say just a user zero or any other things are just a zero. But um, you can guess if we connect this one to our applications, so, uh, we can see how many people are staying in our application here and by which countries the people are seeing us in United States or Canada or any other countries so there are so many data we can see in real time so it would be really worth while connect our application to this Google Analytics so without further ado I'm going to start making our application so we are going to use the React.js so I'm going to open the at text editors which is the Visual studio code i really like so in here so i'm going to turn on the terminal first i need to go to the directory i want to make the react as f so first i want to go to document you can go any further if you want to make that react js app in here i'm going to make the further name uh, react google oh no list tick and i move into the folders i just made and then i'm going to create the react js applications by typing mpx create react app and dot uh, the reason why i just added this dot at the end of the line is i want to the, make this react app inside of this directory current directory so now we created the React application. So we need to. So I need to open the folder I just made. So we are inside of React.js app right now. First, I'm going to turn on our React application by typing npm run start. So now we have our applications. We are going to connect our Google Analytics into. So now we first need to go to Google Analytics website. So you can come in here. This so is the first we need to come in here and then you can click this one set up for free. So you can type anything you want to. John on. And we can just click next and we're gonna make web application that's why we need to click this one and then we click the next so you can type any name for your website name so react so react app and for website urls we are doing this on local machine so that's why we need to do local post of 3000 originally but I tried to do it like this but I got the permission denied so that's why I will just say www.inmywebsite.com for the fake URL and then I'm going to click the art and entertain for categories so I'm going to say the Korea because I live in Korea so I click the create and I click this checkbox and here and I say I accept and then I got this uh, track ID so we need to remember this one because we are gonna use this one inside our application now we go back to our text editor so we go to app.js in here so we're gonna delete all of this part and we just uh, type something hello we come back in here we can see just the hello First, we need to download one dependencies for the Google Analytics. So to do that, in here, we turn off the server right now and then we just say npm install react and save. So now we finish downloading our dependencies for Google Analytics. So now we import the ones we just downloaded, react ga from react uh, we need to do use effect the little parts we don't need and in here react uh, and initialize and in here we need to put a tracking id we had before so copy and paste it in here and uh, for the react cooks so we need to have this one when we come inside the website we tell the google analytics we are inside this page so to do that 
so to to report page view we can just do react car page view just let's suppose we are inside a dash path and then save it uh, first i want to turn on my website by typing npm run star so now we come inside our applications and if as i say if you come inside the website uh, this one will tell the uh, Google Analytics we are inside a dash page. So we can go to the Google Analytics website to check whether it's really happening right now or not. So we just go to our home. So you see active user right now, one. And if we click the real time and overview, we can see right now one active user and the active user inside a soul because i live in seoul <laughs> so that's why it automatically give us the report uh, one user in here so more more than that uh, it also told us the, uh, that user is inside a dash path page so if if i'm gonna change this one into app like this so uh, now i'm going to go to analytic again so if you see this part, you can see the active user inside the app path. To see this more clearly, I'm going to make two pages in here. Now I'm just using one one page, so, but I'm going to let you see more realistically. So I'm going to make two pages. To do that, I need the routers to change my page. To use the router, so I need to have the React Router DOM dependencies. So I'm going to download that dependencies. npm install React Router DOM. Save. So now I'm going to turn on the React application again. npm run start. I'm going to type something in here to make the router. So import browser router as router and switch and route from react router dump so in here we're gonna make the router so router we need to wrap the switch and switch also need to wrap the routes This needs to pa have pass. First one will be one. Second one will be two. And we need to make the two pages in here. One JS and the other page's name will be two JS. First I'm going to make the one JS page in here. One uh, maybe I said first page and for the second page uh, second page and I'm going to import on uh, these pages I'm going to import these two pages import one from one import two from two and then I'm going to copy this one to as a component to so now we can see what will happen inside our app come back in here ah I need to <laughs> I need to make the link in here first href this one is the one a one and in here to go to two page it's two so uh, I'm coming in here again oh uh, it's the color it's kind of hard to see this color but you can see this one one and two this one one and two so if I go to first page and if you go to second page like this we can see like this it actually go to one and two if you see here two and one the path name so we can change this one into window and location and path name 
plus window location and search so if we do like this so when i am in one page if we go to the google analytics uh, you see the we are inside the one page if, if i go into the second page so you can see two so if i go to google analytics you can see it's active page is the two because in here window location past name uh, is pointing out this two so that's why it can automatically the change the path we are in or uh, if you want to know about this one window location search so sometimes we can do like this language okay english this kind of part is the window location search in case we need this kind of thing so we also need to put this part we are inside of this path so if we go to google analytics you, we can see just the two and language and english but i'm going to just delete this part and we are still in here so we go to google analytics again so if we don't have this this one so we can only have these two so that's why we need to just have this part to have the full path we are in and second nice feature we can have from the Google Analytics is that if there is one button and if we click that button it will also refer to the Google Analytics we click this button so by this the we can guess uh, people like to click this button to go to the another page so we can guess uh, in which place that we need to place this button first I'm going to go to the one page and we are inside one page and I'm going to make the button and then click I'm going to say on click and and I'm going to, to put the one function name click handler and I'm going to define this function by using the arrow function and in here I also need to import the react from red car and I'm going to put this one in here and event and I need to define the categories of this button this is the button this one will be just the button button and the action is the click the button from first page and alert send the information to google oh no list tick that i touch the click button so actually this is or to report our event into the google analytics so i'm going to save it and i'm going to go to one page and i'm going to click this one i send the information to google analytics that i touched the click button okay and i'm going to go to the google analytics to see whether it's really triggered or not so in here i'm going to click the events so we are inside the event page so if you see here so event category button so i said button in here and action this one click the button from first page so you can see event action click the button from the first page how awesome it is so this google analytics let us know tons of things what users are doing inside our application aside from these features the we can do more tons of things inside of here so if you want to know more about this you can check the react documentation so if you have some question you can just leave the comment below and i try to help you as much as i can and so if you like this video so please subscribe me so i'm going to keep uploading this kind of helpful video so thank you for watching this video and see you later thank you